to today's video. Today we're going to talk about my upcoming brake job or upgrading my front calipers from 12 inch to 13 inch. There's two paths you can go, well there's more paths you can go. You could buy expensive aftermarket brakes, but I'm going with Corbett equipment and when you do that you have two options. You have OE equipment or the heavy duty brakes for the C4s which is a J55 is the option code or you can go with the very popular C5 conversion. The only difference between the two in hardware is the C5 will require an adapting plate. That adapting plate is going to cost you at least $150. Other than that everything's about the same. You can get used calipers in either J55 or C5 for about the same price. Your stainless steel brake lines, if you do that, which is what I'm doing, are the same price. You're gonna buy C4 brake lines, even if you have C5 calipers, you're gonna buy C4 brake lines for your year of car. And that is because different years, believe it or not, have different lengths. So even a 92 is different than a 94. And the, the reason I'm going with J55 C4 brakes is, well, one, because they were available. They're hard to find, and when you do find them, they usually are in rough shape or they need a rebuild or they, the bleeders are broken, something's wrong with them, and they're a little expensive. I got a very nice pair from a low mileage car for the same price as I purchased C5 calipers for. Um, if you've ever watched my Instagram, you know that I was going to do a C5 caliper conversion on my 92 convertible but when I sold the car I sold all of that stuff. I sold it for exactly what I paid for it so I lucked out there. I didn't lose any money on that one. Now two years later I'm doing, doing it again. I went with J55. I'm gonna save $150 because I won't need the adapting plate. J55 will also allow me to put the saw blades back on the front tires if I ever choose to. If I ever sell this car, which I don't intend to, I will be taking the Z06 wheels off the car and putting the saw blades back on. If I have the J55 brakes on the front, the saw blades will go right on perfectly. If you have C5 calipers, my understanding is they will not just bolt on. You will need spacers or an adapter. Um, there's a lot of discussion and debate about that. People highly recommend not using spacers and adapters if you don't have to. And honestly, that's about the only two reasons. Um, they were available and I could put the saw blades back on the car with no issues at all. Now let's talk about the C5 brakes a little bit. If you're gonna do that to your car, which is fine, the C5 brakes, when you're shopping, looking for used calipers, it doesn't matter if it's Z06 or base, they're the exact same brake. The Z06 are just powder coated red. You're paying more for the finish. Um, when you're, if you're gonna replace the brake lines and add braided stainless steel lines like I am, you're going to choose a stainless steel line for your car. It doesn't matter that you have C5 calipers. The, the nuts the, the same. The threads are the same. So what you'll do is you'll buy braided lines for your car and they are year specific because believe it or not, they're different lengths. So a 92, which is still this exact same generation of car, it actually has a different part number for the stainless steel lines. Now comparing the two calipers in regards to performance, you're not going to see any difference at all for street driving. In, on the track, it's still going to be very similar. My understanding is the J55 brakes start to have fading issues quicker than the C5 brakes. It has something to do with the size of the calipers and the, the spread, the layout of the brake pads but it's still minimal. You'll, you'll notice some fading and you'll notice it in the corners. For street driving, like what I do, I am not gonna notice any difference. Now, 
there is something to consider when you're shopping for C5 calibers, and I'm only going by what I've read in the forums, but C5 calipers, because of how they are designed, they have an issue that's called spreading. And that can take away from the performance of the caliper, and your, your brake pads are gonna wear unevenly. Now, I don't know anything about it. This is just what I've read, but it's one thing you'll wanna consider. So, if you're shopping for C5 calipers, you're gonna to wanna, to preferably, get a pair, well, either new, or off a low mileage car that's been adult driven. And I don't know how significant the spreading is. I, I, I don't know anything about it. It's just out there in the forums. Something to consider if that matters to you. And if you have the money to buy new, I would go that route. So for this project, I will be doing a front brake caliper upgrade to option code J55, which is a heavy duty caliper that uses a 13 inch rotor. I'm going to be installing stainless steel brake lines on all four corners. I have hawk pads and my rotors are just going to be standard AC Delco. Um, I went with black cap rotors. Um, the black cap means it has painted hub area. They call that a cap. Uh, I've never purchased painted rotors before, but honestly it has to be better than looking at rust. And now with my new wheels and how nice and shiny the car is, I, I'd rather see a black cap than rust. Um, I do not have my, my rotors yet, I just ordered them yesterday, but they were only $56 each. That's an AC Delco rotor with a black painted cap for $56 each. I, I couldn't say no to that. It doesn't really matter if the they last. Um, the car is only going to get driven three or four, maybe, maybe 5,000 miles a year, but I doubt it. So it doesn't matter what the quality of these AC Delica rotors are, they're going to last me a while. So look for that project in the very near future. It's only 40 degrees today, so it's not happening this weekend. The first nice weekend this spring, I will be doing that project. So thanks for watching.